Where in the world are we going today? I have found an amazing app called Google Art Project Street Art that we are going to use for a virtual field trip. So to begin, let's talk about street art. Street art is independent or unofficial artwork created in public spaces. It is not always commissioned, that means ordered or asked for. Some street art is legal, but some is not. Street art can be in the form of graffiti, murals, which are paintings on walls, stickers, stencils, tiles, sculptures, and even yarn bombing. What? Yarn bombing? It's really cool. I'll show you later. Street art is sometimes called guerrilla art. A guerrilla is someone who fights outside of an army, kind of ninja style and hidden. So street artists are sometimes called guerrilla artists because they have to work on the sly, not to be confused with a guerrilla, although this is street art. Although street art is now mostly celebrated in cities, not too long ago, in the 1970s and 80s, it was illegal, so artists had to work secretly. Types of street art. Graffiti. This can be made with spray paint or stencils. Murals. Those are paintings on walls. There's lots of murals in Albuquerque, if you've ever seen those. Poster or sticker art. Artists put up posters or stickers they have made. Down here. Tiles. Some artists create uh, street art by installing or putting up tiles in buildings. Video. Some artists just project a video on a building, so it's not a piece of art that will last a long time. And then sculpture. So that's using 3D materials and little installations. I loved this. This artist goes around cities and uh, where there's broken bits of wall, she'll put up Legos. And yarn bombing. I almost forgot. Yarn bombing, also called guerrilla knitting, involves installations of knitting and crocheting on trees, cars, and all around city streets. These are all made by artists knitting and crocheting with yarn. There's even something called reverse graffiti. So re reverse graffiti is when an artist will clean away soot or dirt from pollution. Check out this artist. So this artist was using um, a water pressure cleaner to blast away dirt on the side of this wall. So it's like reverse painting. Instead of putting down paint, he's taking away buildup on the wall. To visit Google Art Project Street Art, you can follow the link and it will open up in the World Collection. Each red circle represents the number of pieces of street art in that location. So 
So you choose a country to go to. Let's go to France. And you keep clicking in. So here we are going to Paris. And it will get closer and closer in your map. until finally you'll start to see the art over here. And you can scroll through. So sometimes they'll have pictures of artists making it. If you need to zoom out, press the minus. And then if you want to see a bigger map, you just slide that over and you can zoom out. Uh, if you want to surprise, you press surprise me and it will pick a location for you. So it chose to take you to London here and then you can scroll through until you find a piece of artwork that you would like to draw for this assignment. Another really fun app is called Radio Garden. So a lot of street art goes with music. So for instance, graffiti art in New York City was closely um, linked to the invention of hip hop. So Radio Garden, you can follow the link. We'll take you, it's planting the seeds of all these different radio stations, real radio stations you can listen to all around the world. So, We'll go back to France because we started there. So you click on where you want to go. Zero one quarante cinq trente neuf quatre vingt treize. And you can listen to the radio. Pas dans le rapport à l'autre. In different countries. So it seems in France they have a lot of people talking on the radio and not that much music. So you can think of where did you go to look at your street art? What are they listening to there? Afterwards, I want you to send a virtual postcard. So I want you to pretend that you or have visited this place, you've seen the street art, hopefully you've heard some music, and I want you to share your experience with someone, um, a friend, family, me. I will include this postcard template as a PDF so you can write on it directly. So you will write a pretend postcard to someone as if you were on vacation in the place you visited. Tell them about something you saw. The other part of this assignment is to make a drawing of an artwork, a street art piece that you found in your virtual field trip that inspired you. You can make that drawing on paper or in Sketches Pro. Any questions, let me know. I hope you enjoy this and I look forward to seeing your drawings and your postcards.